All right, I never played this map before. What is this? This is End of the King. Somebody else holds the lobby is four players. I believe it's Capitals Progressive. We're so, so very, very zoomed out. Okay, a little got a little, a little crown over there. All right, and uh, ooh, okay, secret stairs. Just clicking things. Um, so you have chosen a cat there. You had a lot of troops there. It's so zoomed out. Oh, we have bonuses. Three, three, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, three, and four. Fairly even on the bonuses. I like about that zoom, maybe. Um, we are green. It's our turn. We got three, three, five stack over there. I could go for the Viper Fleet. I don't like being in the middle of that. I could go in the middle of Gatehouse. Another bad cap. Don't cap in their area. Uh, I could try King's Quarter. I don't have good spots for caps. I could try if the Crown Jewel is a three-point hold for plus five. You got seven there. No way. You're going for that. I could go for the Battlements. There's not a lot of work to get the Battlements, actually. Just four territories. One, two, three, and four, unless somebody's down there. Uh, it's a four-point hold, though. I could go for West Keep, which is a probably like a four-point hold as well. The Battlements pushes into the Viper Fleet. Let's... I uh, This guy's doing the true sign. Let, let's just... I'm running out of time. I'm going to stack right here. I ran out of time. I needed more time to think. There's just not many good options. What are bonuses? Bonuses are if you hold enough territories in, a re in the region, all of them, you get a bonus. So the Crown Jewel, if you hold all three of these territories, one, two, three, you will get plus five troops at the start of your next turn, every turn that you're holding it. So it's very, very good. It's a great one to increase your troops. Hmm. I'm not sure. I definitely don't want to cap inside of a territory. You want to cap where you can like move out of it. This would be inside of it. That'd be no good. That'd be no good. My my choices were basically here, or here, or here. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to go there. This would have been nice, but he had a seven stack there. And I didn't want to cap here and have that guy stack. I, mean, I have six, they have ten, and I don't want to fight them for it. But unfortunately, it does mean they're going to have access to that. I don't think we had a very good spawn here. This person's going to push to grab that early. Wouldn't surprise me if they have a, the first defense grabbed that turn. And their cap push out. we got to remember that the black cap is here and the blue cap is here. I mean, we'll always have vision on the blue cap as long as we lose our cap. Red, I don't know where your cap is at. Not in here, not in here. Could be in here, could be in here, could be here. Hard to say. Um, I imagine it's probably in here or in here. I hope it's not right here, because then we're fighting for the battlements together. Hmm. Okay, so you're probably down in here then, going for the Ironside or the Knut's Ravens. I could try to grab Viper Fleet. I'll need to hold... It's a one... Actually, once I... I, I don't want my cap there, but I could still try to grab this, because once we take out this... Um, because this is... I got a blizzard there. We don't have to defend against there, so once we... Actually, yeah, once we push through this, I got a one-point hold right here through all of this. So we do this... We we do this right here to attack that. We don't get it this turn. Or do we try to get this turn? I'm going to try to get it this turn. And hopefully this guy doesn't take their 10 to my 6, because that'd be bad for both of us. We hit this. And then we hit uh, this over here. And then we will fortify... This blizzard is actually huge for us. I don't have to defend this bonus at all. That's actually really strong for us. This worked out fantastic for us. I actually love this. Couldn't have picked a better cap right here. Because we already have the plus three for the Viper Fleet on our first turn. That's 16 on my 10. No, no. They're going to grab you. You're going to work and grab your plus three in that turn. Hit this, hit this, fortify back there probably. That's fine. I've already got my plus three. That has a one point defense right here with a capital. That is extremely strong. That is crazy strong. Also, hello to everybody popping up in chat. Hello, hello, greetings, I do. Uh, if you're watching this as a YouTube video after the fact, this was streamed live on twitch.tv slash cgplayslive. Go ahead and drop by if you want to see me play the games live. All right, so that's really strong. The question is, where, now that we have a basically, an, we have an unbreakable uh, a plus three bonus back here that nobody can really do much about. This guy also has a three point bonus, but he has to worry about getting broken from basically the battlements here or from this down here. Ooh, hello! The red player was here and attack up here. Did the red... Wait, did you take somebody's... You started your troop with five... You started with five total. Um, because... Well, it's because I was... So, well, you started with five total means you did not have your bonus. Okay. And uh, red started with seven troops total. So you do have your bonus. So did red come in here and break you? I think red might be doing really, really well. To, really? The red player is attacking like crazy. That's wild. The red is... A, how do you have so many troops? 
how do you have so many troops? They're going crazy. You didn't have that many, right? That's bonkers. That's actually crazy. What's up, Roman? Oops, they say. Okay, so the red player, I don't understand how they have so many troops. That's the wild part. I, I guess I do have like 15 and they have plus seven to start the turn. They must be attacking with like every troop they have. That's crazy. Well, this, I need vision. I need to know what's going on down here. I need to know what's happening down in this neck of the woods. So I'm going to, there might be, an, that might be like a self-destruct from the red player. Um, I need to see what's happening over around here. Um, I can also try and, okay, you got five there. Do a cheeky investigation. Now I've got this, now that, these right here, this, 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 this gives me the battlements, which is another plus three uh, bonus, uh, plus five. I doubt we hold it though. Let's go and hit this over here. But I just want to see, okay, now I know where your capital is. I'll go ahead and fortify this away. You'll break that from me. That's fine. In fact, I'm actually going to leave that there. If you want to hit that three, make it a little bit more, a little bit harder for you. Okay, so the red player is here. I think they have this bonus, or they had this bonus, and they're trying to push up into this. The black player is over here. The red player and black player must be going to war a little bit already. I did some attacking down there, dumped some troops down there I could put here for safety to fortify this, but this is already pretty well defended. Fortune's pretty strong right now. I wanted to have vision of what's going on down here. I needed to know where the red capital was. Now I know, red capital here, black capital here, neither that strong. Blue players can probably attack me and break me there. That's fine, not to worry about it. How many troops do you have? You have, you started with five total. How did you only start with five? Did red break you? You red broke you, or you took your sweet time and didn't try to grab that in a single turn. Okay, eight troops for the black player because they have this bonus right here. Okay, so red must have either broken you last turn or you didn't rush to get your bonus. I'm actually in a really strong position here, but I still have to play the social political game of not trying to anger anybody. Red and black are just an act of danger now. They are for the moment, but we are in capitals mode. So all they have to do is stack their troops on their capital and they kind of stay, uh, stay alive. The, the black player has broken both of my bonuses. So they are in fact a bad neighbor. 11 troops for the red player. They probably hold this and this, okay. And they're likely gonna attack into my three there. We did spend a lot of troops down there to find all this stuff, what's going on down there, but I think it was worth it. And the red player is trying to get a, a greedy and aggressive hold multiple bonuses. Hmm. Do I want to break their bonus? I don't think I want them to have that bonus. What well, they can do hit my capital. They can't do much over there. Um, I'm actually going to... Oh, do I try for this plus four in the king's quarters up here? We're not going to... This guy's not going to let me have this. But I will, like, take a peek and see what they have. You know, if they're poorly defended here, I'll break them real quick. Why not? And I'll break you as well, I think. Keep ourselves defended well over there. And let's, I mean, let's go ahead. I mean, we can, I can try and break you here. Yeah, don't let you have that bonus so easily. And don't take that because I don't want you to be able to go out that way. I mean, you just go through that way. It's fine. Go ahead and hit you real quick over here. And only put three there. I don't want you having these extra bonuses. I, don't, I want to be the strong guy getting bonuses. Aha, maybe you shouldn't have broken me. All right, that's fine. Oh, an undefended cap. We take that. We fortify, I don't know, uh, like uh, a, a decent bit over there. The black player completely moved off their capital and left a vulnerability right there. Foolish. You broke both of my bonuses and thought I wouldn't take this stack or this stack through here to maybe try and break you? That's wild. Blue player's playing very chill with us, matching our borders over there. This 12 still kind of tricky to break through. Now we've taken the black player's cap is doing a lot better for us. We're literally better. Black literally bought. Did Black bought out? Did They did not bought out. They did not. Neither has Blue, neither has Red. The Blue player breaks my bonus here. I am not worried about this bonus at all. That's fine. If you if Blue wants to take that for a turn, that's fine. I'm not crazy worried about that. I, I, I'm, I'm, I feel comfortable making enemies playing a little bit aggressive here because I have, if I keep enough troops back here, I've got a plus three bonus and a cap that's like basically extremely difficult to break. Not easy for them to break at all. The black player has lost their capital. Since it's progressive, I still need to worry about getting the black player out of the match as soon as possible. Um, that way they're not gonna sit here holding a, a grudge against me. And I think, um, they got no bonus. Ooh, they might be body out right now. It is progressive. We do, we do a kill guard black. I don't think we want to kill guard black. I think we just want to get them out of here as soon as possible. Unless they bought out. If they bought out, 
let them honestly if, the, if they bought out let them rampage a bit and you know if we're lucky they'll go through here it'll hit my five but then they can break the blue player and i can focus on breaking these guys' bonuses hmm i think i think the reason uh i think the black player got attacked by red early and that's why and then i broke them here that's why they uh bought it out the question is how do i deal with red and blue in case they gang up on me i mean I need to make sure, like, they could easily get a lot of bonuses. I don't want to, I do not want to let them hold bonuses. The bot trades in four cards, so we need to worry about breaking them. Ooh, doesn't take their turn, okay. I'm going to want to fortify this back to here next turn. Red's going to try and grab this. Here's the thing, I've got a great hold on one, but I'm not going to be able to defend very well. So I do not want to play good neighbor with these guys and let these guys hold two or three bonuses, and this guy hold two or three bonuses while so I'm trapped here with just one. I'm going to want to play antagonistic and break these guys whenever I can and not let them hold too many bonuses. I could try and, I mean, I guess I could try and play good neighbor. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like being friendly is a great play for us here. I mean, I think we send these here to break that. Don't let you hold this bonus. We ignore the black player for now. Um, I could try and break. You can have that plus. So I'm not worried about that. I could try and grab this. I don't care. I'd rather break yours and try and hold this because it's a one, two, three, four point hold. Not worth. I could try and I could stack a few more here to break you and get the bots way a little bit and maybe break this as well. Stack the rest here for defense. We go ahead and we attack this to break that. We tag this over here to break this and good dice. Good dice. And then we fortify uh, this over to I guess here for defense that by if we're unlucky this bot's just gonna keep stacking stacking next to this capital I might have actually just I might eventually fortify this away let the bot take that capital and then the bots over in this corner fighting blue and red and doing a lot of the work for me right so this is one of the new Viking maps okay thanks for telling me appreciate that all right five over there you're gonna try and grab back your bonuses I just want to make the they're, these guys are trying to hold lots of bonuses which means lots of weak points they have to defend against. Next time, this guy's probably going to defend up this way. Next time, we can push through this way. Even now, free this cap to push through there if I need to. I'm not sure I even want to try and hold that other cap. Maybe I leave 12 there. The bot will eventually trade in cards and take it away from me. Because I don't. the boss love just stacking near the cap. Here's the problem. Yeah, the bot's just going to stack near and near my cap. If anybody ever attacks this territory here, I'm going to just attack out and throw rampage with this, fortify these troops elsewhere, and let the bot just have that cap or fight over there for it. I don't want to... Because I need the bot to be fighting them, not forcing me to stack half and half in my cap. Oh, wait. Oh, the bot will actually attack with my cap. Okay, good. Normally just stacks and sits there a lot of times. All right, yes. Wait. Oh, he broke him. That's great. The bot attacked up here and broke you, so I don't need to worry about breaking you here. You've already been broken. I could stack these here and break you there. Just keep breaking you guys. I want to make sure you guys have as little bonus as possible. You can you can have your plus three there. You can have this plus two there. But I don't want you guys having a lot of bonuses. I'm going to make a lot of enemies between the two of you. But the thing is, unless one of you self-destruct slams on my cab, there's not a lot you can do. All right, they're not even going to try and grab that there. That's fine. They don't want to free my cap at all there. I'm not crazy worried about that. Ten for us there. Okay, I want to, I think, stack five here here and here and break this that was already broken i don't need to worry about that i don't care about breaking your plus two that's not that big of a deal you can have that and you're already broken there i want to break this as well so let's put four there and i mean if the bot actually is gonna move away i can let that chill let's keep this nice and strong over here and let's keep playing antagonistically and being the bad guy really that's bad luck okay um you laugh but I do have a nice strong capital that I can just go ahead and do this to you. How's that for laughing? <laughs> How's that for laughing, buddy? <laughs> I still broke you. I still broke you. Plus 10 for you. So we are kind of even on troops with the blue player. The problem is I'm burning troops attacking both red and uh, uh, blue. I need the I need the black, but oh, they were already broken. I didn't realize they did, the bot was already strong here. Well, that's good. That's good. 
All right, eventually I'm gonna want to break this guy, but he's got he's got this. So this 11 stack is his defense against this. His 10 stack is his defense against this for breaking his plus three. I don't think trying to break his plus three is a problem. The thing here is we've got like a bit of a stalemate situation, except for I'm I've become the bad guy in both the red players and the blue players eyes because I'm attacking them both. It's a bit of an issue. It's a bit of a problem. The nice thing is they can't do a whole lot about it. What I need to do is honestly get out of this corner and let the bot get let the bot recall. Honestly, letting, leaving here. OK, that's good. That's good. We like that. We like that. We like the bot getting strong over here. We like the bot attacking all of this. That's fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. The bot attacks my... Okay, they lost that, but... That's good. That's good. That that does all... That also frees this. I could leave this cap and let the bot take it. Do we want to do that? Do we want to leave that and let the bot take it? I'm worried the bot's going to get pushed out soon. I could also try and push the bot out. The bot, I think, is actually low on troops. I'm worried if I leave... Oh, yeah, they break me there. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, if I can get you to leave a vulnerability. The question is, do you fortify? I could probably sneak a path. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a chance. I'm going to... Yeah, oh yeah, you're over here. Are you trying to take out the bot? Are you trying to eliminate the bot and don't know this? Oh wait, I might, I might take out the bot for two cards. It all adds up. Because I think the bot is mostly just right next to me right here. Force trade on five. I will take, yeah, these... And I will, I mean, I think this is probably fairly well defended. We're going to go over here and let's go ahead and try to take the bot here because I think they did most of the work for me already right there. And let's go for you a little bit as well. You're over here too. Okay, where is the rest of this bot hiding at? Up here somewhere. We'll hit you over here. It's not crazy worth it for two cards, but if the bot's going to get taken by somebody, I'd rather be taken by me. Was it worth it for the troops? Probably not. But, um... Alright, I can have this hopefully win over here. Good. And... Oh, this... Can fortify... Back... Over to... Here, I guess. Something else take that they can? Alright, first time bot doesn't beeline me, I know, right? Alright, we got the bot out of there. Now it's basically a 1v1v1, except for I've antagonized both of these players. So effectively, it's a it's going to be a 2v1 because they're just they're not fighting each other. They've got no reason to. I've angered both of them. The question is, how on earth do I beat them both? <laughs> well, first of all, we don't worry about protecting this cap. We keep breaking them to make sure they don't get good bonuses. And um, eventually one of them gets frustrated in full sends on me. This guy's deciding which cards. They're taking a long time to turn in their cards, which tells me it might be a newer player. They have five cards. That's why they're taking so long to draft. They're debating this guy's RIP the grave. Unless they gave up? I don't think they need to give up. If the two of them gang up on me properly, they beat me. They could be doing like the, the fake bot out strategy where they bot out and they come back from it. There's the forced trade on five by the bot, I think. The bot places, I guess. So did you bot out? You did bot out. The, the thing is, okay, now we have a, a 1v1 with red and a blue bot. The danger here is this player might just be going to the bathroom and they could come back. So I don't want, oh yeah, attack that six, lose 10. That's good, that's good. I'm not worried about losing that. In fact, I don't actually want to be in that corner. What I want to do is attack your troops, break your bonuses, be indefensible, you know, in, unbreakable here and then just do damage to all your bonuses. Yes, this is good. So I took out the bots, so I'm a little bit hard, farther ahead on the card trades. We ignore blue, we keep breaking red, but blue could come back from being a bot here while we fight red, so we don't wanna to waste too many troops on red here, not at all. We trade for this, and I want to break you as much as possible. Where's a clean path? I could, this is broken, this is broken. You have this, these, and this, so I think if we go, like right here we can probably do a lot of damage to you through here we can do this i don't want the capital back no thank you i just want to break a lot of your bonuses here we'll hit this only leave three let's go ahead and tag we don't want you having these bonuses that's all i'm really caring about is breaking these bonuses and you laugh i mean i don't know what you i don't know what you want from me man 
Let's try and stay away. I need a path where we can go. Hmm. I don't have any good paths here. I'll, I'll put them all here to stack the other three I had there. Question is, Blue, are you back? They're not back yet. I broke his spirit. Think time to bot to the bonus breaks means they left out. I mean, maybe. Maybe I broke Blue's spirit from breaking. If Blue is a new player and I'm just breaking their bonuses over and over and over again, it's quite possible I broke their spirit and they bought it out. So that, that is definitely a possibility there. Um, or they could be doing the bot out strategy or sometimes people, you break their spirit, they leave and they'll open their phone up 10 minutes later and it's like, hey, do you want to come back in this game? And they'll come back in the game. We'll see. All right. Well, if Blue is a bot, I can still try and use Blue to my advantage. I can let Blue do a lot of the work breaking you. I don't want Blue to get too strong, though. We don't want Blue to hold too many bonuses. But I don't... I, I want to be in a situation where I can kind of, like, save up my troops. And, um, yeah, keep you low. And start working the bot to my advantage. The bot's got a big stack here. Maybe I can eventually get to attack you. Red might just stack cap here. The fact that Red is, like emoting like crazy whenever I break them tells me they're not some noob. Noobs don't like lose their mind and emote like mad when you break them most of the time. It's usually people, it's usually salty veterans, honestly. I do that a lot. Um, do I, I could card trade here. I don't feel like I really need to. I want some way to connect my troops up, but blues block me from connecting through here and here. Uh, you did not claim any bonuses back, so I'm not really, I mean, you've got that right there. We could break that bonus with some troops right there. I want to get these troops reconnected back with my main force where I can actually, you know, use them. Break that bonus. And then let's go ahead and, I guess, push you out of here. I mostly just want to... I, I want to get this big stack over here, back to here. Uh, do I want Blue having all these troops? If Red's just stacking caps, do I want Blue to be crazy strong? Um, I do because th the bot will eventually actually attack caps as well. And then I can take out the bot. Let the bot be somewhat strong. Keep an eye, make sure it's a player. Ah, I see! <laughs> it was! It was the bot out strategy. I should have broken them. It was the bot out strategy. I should have broken them. Cheeky boys, my my cap is blocked in. That is correct, aside from attacking their cap. They'll eventually break though. Okay, so we're back to 1v1v1. With red being very mad at me and blue probably be mad at me well. The bot out strategy is where you go AFK, the game will turn you to a bot because you're away from your computer for too long. Oh, hit that. Oh, beautiful. You are a noob. You are a noob. You just hit a cap and <laughs> got really bad luck losing 40 to 20. Oh, that's fantastic for us. We have a read on the blue player. They're a newer player. They probably took a bathroom break and came back and they hit them for so very much. Well, that, that's fantastic for us. Re, uh, when you're in a 1v1, this situation, you put three Grandmasters in each of these slots here, you know, red, green, and blue, and this is gamed out stalemate for a very long time because it's basically keep big armies on your caps, try and break each other's bonuses somewhat, and um, watch each other go to war. Okay, so red is going to try and do as much damage to me as they can. Um, I could yoink that cap from blue, I think, and have another cap. That could be pretty good. Or I can try... I want to yoink that cap. We want a card trade. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. And I'm going to try and grab this cap. Um, actually, we'll do it from over here. Um, get... Try and get red basically out of this game if we can. Would be uh, pretty good for us. I don't know why Blue decided to slam that cap. It's great for me. You only lost 24 to 16. It's not bad. And I think... Honestly, I think that's probably fine for now. I'm not going to fight Blue for that cap. 17, by the time I get there, it has like 10 here, hits, lose, I'd ha I wouldn't be able to defend him, basically. Actually, I could fortify some here to over here. You know, let's just call that good, and I think we'll be okay. I can even fortify some of these over here for, like, slightly better mobility. I think the fact that uh, blue slammed red there is actually huge. I need to break more of your bonuses. You're getting plus 16 a turn. But if blue is distracted with red, that's actually good for us. The fact that blue is like not shy at all about like card trading and slamming a cap that's got 20 on it, we can use it to revenge. Because the way you win capital mode is mostly you want to attack their troops when they're out in the open like this, and you want them to attack your troops when they're on their capital because you have a defensive bonus on the capital. And the, it looks like they are going for red. It looks like they're trying to eliminate red here. This could work out for us though. This works out for us though. Also, Red, the way they've been, like, emoting saltily this entire match reeks of a player who's gonna 
try and be petty and sit back and stay around as long as it can and car trade and slam us to get blue the wind 100% because we've been antagonizing them. Like, I get that mentality. Yep, there it is. There's a 30 troop trade in. They'll stack it here and slam my capital, most likely. Wait for it. So predictable. So predictable. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to worry about eliminating them this turn because they don't have that many cards. What I'm actually going to do is I am going to stack here to protect this from blue. And now we are going to deal with uh, blue's bonuses a little bit here. Even though, even though it traps me there a bit. I need you to not have so many troops and whatnot. I can take most of this stuff out of here. Um, and we'll go ahead and hit this. And then we'll fortify back over to here. Now we're continuing the 2v1. We know that red is maybe in here somewhere. Maybe it's here somewhere. And predictable as may be, red hits us with the full send there. So we're fighting a tough little challenging 2v1 match here. Tough one, tough one, tough one. All right. Let's see what blue does. I think blue might be somewhat of a new player based on the fact that they slammed red like that. It's crazy that red's holding the grudge against me considering blue's the one that slammed their 20 in the cab, but I did break them a bunch of times. As I need to, once uh, red ends their turn and they have three cards, then we eliminate them. Prior to that, don't care. I mean, blue's doing a good job. Like, strategy-wise, blue's doing fine. There's not as familiar, like, they're, they're a strategy game player. They're just not somebody who's crazy familiar with uh, risk and capital modes and all of that. You like my mic? Hey, glad you enjoy the mic, uh, Flawless Sparrow. All right, five troops for you. That's no big deal. Probably means you have this bonus here. I should break you. All right, blue still has this bonus. I could put troops here, hit this, and hit this. Hopefully, there's nothing there defending death. I'm lucky. You have this bonus here as well. I could. We could put uh, three more troops here for total of four. Break this to make sure you don't get that bonus. Put some here. Hit this, hit this. Reclaim this for ourselves. Uh, no, no. Hitting this because we want to break you here. So the red player slammed me and then bought it out. They're going to bot out. This will be a genuine bot out. They card traded on three last time, slammed me, which means unless they come back, we don't have to worry about the bot card trading and slamming me again. I would probably eliminate them when they get three just in case. But now i got to focus on blue. How many troops does blue have? 26 here. That's 37, 38, 39, 41, 43. Probably doesn't have too much stacked else. Probably has some here. I'd say blue probably has a similar amount of troops as I do, I would imagine. See, so did you enjoy the small UI interface on this map? Um, I mean, being able to zoom out and like, it's it's kind of nice. I, I like being able to zoom out more. It, it is good. I like that. All right, I card, do I card trade on three? I think I do card trade on three. That is big for us. We like that. 49 troops. I think I can do a lot of damage with that. I think I might even try and slap your, I could try and slap your cap with that. Wait a second. Can I do a cap run here for the win? Can I cap run for the win right here? Can we do a cheeky cap run for the win? Slap your cap. That's three of the four caps. If this cap down here is not too well defended, we just win it right here. 17 on here. 100% chance to win it right there. Just that easy. That indefensible point right there and the aggressive gameplay gets that win. There it is. You'll love to see it. Now I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. And if you want to see the ranks, here you are. Red was a master. I told you they were a veteran based on how salty they were in the emoting constantly when they're getting broken. Yeah, Blue had some strategy experience or intermediate. And Black was a novice that uh, got bodied early. All right, there it is. See you next time.